Okay. Aloha, welcome. Uh, we've had a request for another video on how to cut down kite lines. So, uh, first you'll need to get yourself a set of lines that, uh, well, preferably you don't want to keep long anymore. So, if you have a secondary bar that you want to cut down, that is ideal because I find it's always better to have a complete short line bar ready to go rather than having one set, one bar and one set of lines that you're adding extensions to and taking off constantly. But either way you want to do it, um, you can also buy short line bars sometimes. It used to be more popular in kite board brands but now it's more of a rare thing. So to cut down the lines, um, it's a fairly simple procedure. The first thing you want to do is true your bar. So if you don't know how to do that, um, there's probably other videos on how to do that. But what you're going to be doing is getting all of your four kite lines together exactly the same distance. So if I put a screwdriver through them, and then you're going to tie them to a fixed point, like to a tree or something like that, stretch your lines and make all the adjustments at the bar end to get those lines true and exactly the same length. Okay, so true the bar because kite lines stretch over time, not slip and, and what have you. So once you have the bar that you're cutting down trued, we're just going to be measuring from the amount we want to cut off from the far end, from the kite's end, back down the lines. So you might be going back, you know, cutting down a 20 set of 20 meter set of lines to 10 meters or to 15 meters, let's just say 15. You're going to take five meters back. Okay, and then keep in mind that when we do the splice on the end, we're going to lose a little bit of length, but don't let that worry. So, keeping the tension on the lines, keeping the lines attached to the tree or the anchor point, I have tension on the lines. I measure back the distance, and you want to keep these lines exactly the same, and then you're going to get your marker pen, and you're going to mark right across those four lines, and uh, you're actually going to do, I find it's best to do um, three dots on there. So you're going to be doing a three points on there, about uh, six inches apart. Maybe four inches apart. But the first mark you make is where the lines, that's going to be the ultimate length. So you're going to go back here. Let's just do one line at a time. I, I like to work with at least a foot. So here we go, 30 centimeters of line. Okay, is, is, the, is the extra bit I'm gonna be using. So here the first mark. First mark would be here. It's the cut mark. Six inches back. Another mark. Six inches behind that. The third mark. Get that look. So with your lines marked out the same way on all four lines. You're ready, you're gonna cut that line right there with your sharp scissors and you're gonna cut it right at the oh, first knot there, first point. Boom. You're gonna end up with four raw ends, exactly the same um, length. They've all got the marks on them already because now the tension's off the line, so it's going to be very difficult to remeasure those later. Okay, so now you've cut your lines, you're wondering what else to do. Well, you've obviously you need your sharp scissors, your ruler. There's a couple of other tools that are good to have, like a scalpel or a blade, and uh, I like a, a blunt 
sewing machine, no sewing, uh, knitting needle. Um, you can use other things if you have, have to. And you will need something to thread the kite line through. Um, this is a uh, splicing tool, which not everybody has, like for rope work. Uh, you can use fishing line, or you can use a bit of this wire from a craft store. This one's used for flower arranging. I make my own tools with that. This is real handy stuff to have. It's actually my favorite tool is this little piece of cheap wire. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put an eye splice in the end of these lines like this and we're going to end up with a loop that we can attach to our lines. Now what are we, what are we replacing? We're replacing two loops and two knots. Okay, so if you start off with four loops you can always just turn a loop into a knot very easily. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, one, two, three. Okay. Alright, I'm going to change that a little bit. Between the second and the third knot, we'll just do a little three inch hole there. Inch mark. Okay, so this is your cut knot, this is your bending knot. This is the halfway, the three inches, and then this is that one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the rope, the line itself. Uh, and thread the end back down through here. So how do we do that? Well, this is a hollow braid, so what we're going to do is come down to our last knot there and push those lines together. It kind of expands. And I'm going to get my tool here, the blunt tool. And one way to do it, just goes flat down. Poke a hole through. You can put a hole all the way through if you want. I kind of bend it back. And I'm going to try and get the end down the middle of the line. So keep it loose. And open that up a little bit. And my next tool goes down inside and it is easier with new line because old line has been uh, really compacted down and stretched there we go starting to go down It's a little tough to get started, but once you're started, it slides on. Now the trick is to push the line on. Don't try and pull it on because that makes it tighter. Push it on. We're going to go all the way down here. I'm going to come out the next hole. Again, just kind of like keep the, it loose. See how it popped out there? Okay. Now at this end, this is where the scalpel comes in. What we're going to try and do is we're going to fray this end of the kite line we're making it thinner so kind of like want to unpick that this tool's actually equally as good for that okay see how i'm unbinding that unthreading the end 
get it all fluffy. Go back about an inch, three quarters of an inch, two centimeters. All right, and I put that frayed band out through to the line. I can go in here and I can cut half those strands short. See if I've done that enough. And this will make your scissors blunt real quick. Okay, so this frayed end of the line we put back through the loop with your fishing line or your wire or your tool through there. And the idea is you fold it back on itself, but because we cut it down, it's not so thick. And now the trick is to suck it back down through this line. line like a tube. Oh, it's going in. Slowly, slowly. I'm going to pull it up until I get this middle knot, this middle uh, mark right here. Stick me straight back. It's already come off my tool. No problem because it's already through. There we go. So we have the open part. This is exact. This knot was the exit, this was the entry. And now I'm just gonna, you see right now it slides, so I can adjust it very easy. But now we're going to tension it down. I can tension it down. And actually this little bit will probably disappear all the way in. doesn't you can pull it out and cut it off so there we go so that is a nicely spliced end okay now I would have liked that a little bit longer but we're gonna go back and probably sew along here you don't have to there's other ways you can do it but now we've got a loop on the end of the kite line and that's real strong and you can use it like that no problem at all. There's no real need to sleeve these ends. Some people do. The factory has sleeved ends, but for our purposes, we don't need to. And then if you need to do a lark's head, you can just tie that in the end. Boom. Or if you need to tie a knot, because you want to have a knot in the end, you can do that also. And then you have a set of kite lines. So, this is only three inches long right now. I might want to have it a little bit longer. Um, I could just stitch that. That will be as strong as you need. Or I could even do like a double splice and make that extra long with no need for stitching. So there you have it. A quick tutorial on how to um, cut down and splice loops into the end of your kite lines. Hopefully this is helpful. Uh, any more questions? Leave them in the comments and we can always do another video. Take care and aloha.